Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Rob Cook from the CSC. How are you today, Rob? I'm just great. Thanks, Tracy. So let me ask you, in the new edition of the Market Drivers, where are we taking you to? Oh, back to the office. I got to work. Well, of course you have to work. How many new listings have you had since I saw you last? Oh. Uh, roundabout? Oh, about 20? <laughs> that was just a month ago? Right? <laughs> So, in other words, you continue to progress with your hockey stick of yeah. expansion and growth. Oh yeah, it's it's been uh, it's been very gratifying this year. Um, you know, we we profited from a fairly buoyant market, but uh, at the same time, we're just getting people coming at us from all directions. So they um, they come to raise money. Uh, they raised a lot of money. Our listed companies in November raised something like 1.2 billion dollars. I mean, last year, I think it was three and a half in a year. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's uh, it's around about five billion so far this year. So that's that's been great. Well, I think there's a lot of uh, of incorrect data out there. So I I'm so happy you're able to join us. So is this market specific? I mean, I know there's rumors on the street. Oh, it's all cannabis growth. But I've seen other types of companies list on the CSE. Can you, you talk to us about that? You have. Um, well, we've had some interesting. Um, tech companies list recently one called nerds on site and they offer you know like sort of desktop support to um, small businesses they've been in business for 23 years they're located in London Ontario and they're doing a big expansion in the United States they did an IPO um, just listed a couple of weeks ago. Well, that's an excellent example because we at Investor Intel actually utilize nerds on site. Do you? And uh, But I think that's an excellent example where there's a misnomers out there that many of your clients are just Canadian based. And I know nerds on site, for instance, have expansion plans into the United States. Yes. And many of your companies now are actually Americans coming to list on the CSE. Can you talk to us yeah. about that? Well, it's always been a bit cheaper to go public in Canada than in the United States. And and uh, currently we've experienced uh, quite a few fairly large companies from the United States, most of them in the cannabis sector. Um, not all of them are uh, cannabis growers or, or sellers, a lot of them are more suppliers and ancillary businesses. Um, we just listed one called Cresco Labs and they're in several states uh, and um, they're providing services to uh, uh, cannabis growers across the United States. So that's been very interesting. Um, and we continue to get a lot of interest from further afield. Um, Mexico, Colombia, Jamaica. I'm going to Jamaica in, in January for a capital markets conference there. Um, also Europe, um, in Asia, and even Israel. So. So what you're saying is that the CSE has really gone global here in the last year or two, or? Yes, uh, we've always had a, um, a small number of, of, of foreign issuers, and it's still going to be a s small proportion of our total list, but uh, it, the, the interest is expanding. So can you speak to your, your market cap sizes now? I mean, I recall five, six years ago when companies were electing where to list yep. or doing their research, many of the companies on the CSC were quite micro caps, right. quite small. But yep. now you have some fairly large players. That's right. I mean, our, our average market cap size used to be a little under $10 million. Now it's over 30. And uh, we've got about 30 companies right now with a market cap of at least 100 million dollars uh, we didn't used to have that uh, and we've we've um, we've got a couple now that are over a billion so that's that's been quite good I mean, the largest topped out uh, around three and a half four billion dollars say I'm a company in London for instance yeah. uh, what would I do in order to list on the CSE now are you talking the UK or are you talking in Canada so uh, yes the UK right Okay, well, the simple thing is, is uh, you know, to go public in Canada, uh, first of all. And if you do, like there's a new uh, small market in, uh, in the UK called NEX or NEX, and they will recognize a CSE listed company and, um, you know, list it on the basis that it's already listed on the CSE. Um, we tend to help the companies uh, that come to us, we introduce them to the capital markets, um, find them legal and accounting services, introduce them to investment dealers that can raise them capital, that kind of thing. So um, haven't seen 
Um, a lot of companies uh, come from the UK, um, but uh, we've recently had a couple that caught up and said, yeah, just what is it about the CSC that's attracting so many companies? We're quite interested. Well, let me ask you that question then. Mm. What is attracting these companies to the CSC? What do you think your competitive advantage is? Well, our competitive advantage has always been that um, we're, we're very cost effective. Uh, our mission statement is to lower the cost of capital for emerging companies that are going public. And uh, we've had some success at doing that. Um, so uh, that has resulted in increased activity. Increased activity has resulted in more visibility for the companies and it's attracted more interest. Well, Rob, thank you so much for squeezing us in today. We're almost at the CSC. Okay, that's good because uh, I got to go back because we're going to approve two more companies uh, probably within the hour.